Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, of course I'm on Facebook. Just about everybody's on Facebook. Both my brothers are on Facebook. My dad was even asking me about Facebook, which kind of freaked me out a bit. I can't even get my dad to uh, get onto YouTube, let alone Facebook. I mean, how do you explain Facebook to someone who's never been on Facebook? Why would I put my face on a book? Not like that. Eh, Facebook's a good resource if a lot of your friends happen to use it. Uh, I, unfortunately, have hit the ceiling of 5,000 friends. Now I, I need to find a way to um, not really dump my friends, but I, I want to move my friends over uh, to be fans of me and then start my friends list uh, over again from scratch so that I can just add the people that I know instead of everybody who wants to know me. I can make them fans. You can be a fan or a friend. It's a, an easy way of, of defining those relationships, at least for me, because it seems like uh, a lot of people out there want to be my friend. But you can follow me on Twitter if you wanted to. Uh, you can follow me on my blog. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, Facebook, uh, I, I, it's still a little unmanageable for me right now. So I'm still looking for a way to transition some of you from friends to fans. No matter if you live on Facebook, you're probably going to be interested in this other web resource that will help you get your Facebook calendar out of Facebook and on to your desktop. FBCal.com, that's F-B-C-A-L.com, Facebook's missing calendar feature. It says, hey, you can export your events and friends' birthdays to Apple's iCal, Mozilla Sunbird, Google Calendar, Microsoft Outlook, or in your news aggregator, your RSS reader. You simply allow it access, allow it offline access, and uh, then you get the ability to export to whatever calendar uh, you want to export in. Why is this useful? Well, unless you're on Facebook all the time, which many of you, I'm assuming, are, given how many notifications I get, uh, you're probably on your desktop. Or maybe you're on you know, a mobile device and you're trying to check your calendar there, but you don't want to log into Facebook from there because it's kind of a pain in the neck, even though you want to browse your calendar from there or on your desktop. It's just another way of viewing the events that you are interested in, the events that you are attending, possibly even the events that you are organizing. FBCAL.com, uh, at least that I know of the cleanest way of exporting your data from Facebook into your calendar of choice. And chances are, if yours isn't supported here, uh, you need to find a different calendar software uh, because I'm guessing they support most of the calendar standards uh, that happen to be out there today. And I'd be surprised if you didn't use one of those calendars as a default calendar on your desktop or on the web. So uh, if you know of any other cool Facebook tools that exist, possibly helping make your Facebook experience or your friend's Facebook experience or your fan's Facebook experience better, drop me a line. Do not add me as a friend on Facebook. My email address is chris at perlo.com. Do not email me on Facebook because I will not respond ever. Why? Because my email address is not broken. Again, chris at perillo.com. You know my face. You know I've written books. You also know where to find me. Geeks.perillo.com. Of course, if uh, you uh, are interested in joining that, people have said that it's kind of a cross between Facebook and MySpace. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because if Facebook and MySpace were to get together and have a kid, <clears throat> that would be one ugly child. Kind of like me. That's apropos. You're also welcome to join us in the chat room. We're typically talking tech, hardware, software, games, you name it. You can ask questions, get answers, become a part of our live dynamic community. And let me tell you, we're pretty damn dynamic. 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.